Association Motion Car Cup Asia 2017 Pro Am Champion. Who is he? Oh dear, oh dear, what's the matter with the LP Racing Lamborghini Huracan? Well, it's something they, did, they weren't aware of. They thought it was a standard pit stop. They had the wheels, the spare wheels in the way. Those have had to be moved so they can push it back into the garage. It's just about getting around the, uh, the, uh, the lighting gantry into the pits, but uh, that will be one for our man Lucas to go. Due to the last time of the game, it's been nine months. The last time of the game, can there be a chance to have another game? It's always a good answer. The pressure is actually quite big. 毕竟比赛的资金跟来源都很未知，而这段时间也只能维持自己的实力，努力做好充实的准备。而这次很幸运的能够跟我爸一起代表国家参加赛车训练会的双人接力赛，这是第一次跟我爸一起组队参赛。那也有可能会是最后一次，这种机会真的很难得。呃，这次我们要前往的赛道是这次来到法国马赛，我们是要前往 Pori c a r 的赛道。我们拿完行李后的第一件事就是去租车，比较方便让我们去赛道跟饭店。就是靠视觉啊，靠那个风切声啦、啊，靠路感啦、啊，来判断速度嘛。模拟器在这一方面就比较没办法嘛，对不对？啊，所以我们去玩的时候，我们就就做不到那个速度到底是快还是进去的是太快，还是进去的是太慢呢、啊？就抓不到。叫他练他就不练，给<笑>他、欸、自己想办法去练。我都自己练，我是他上班我来练。他他在旁边，我就，对不对？要讲东讲西的，我就不会开了。如果你问我说，会不会厌烦当一个赛车手？这绝对是不会的，因为在赛车场上以两三百公里的速度贴地飞行，时间会瞬间慢下来。在那个时间点，会停留在自己的世界里，完全不会去想任何的身外之物。而这次我们住在搬走这里的饭店，看看房间外的景色，真的非常让人放松。其实赛场附近没有什么好的饭店啊，大部分都是那种 Airbnb 啊，或者是种就是比较偏僻的那种住宿，所以我们就住到就是班多这边的海边，这边应该算比较算是度假的地点啊。对，其实蛮度假村，对，就是那边还会有那种小海滩之类的。对，然后他们这边附近就是度假的圣地，所以还好离赛场不远，所以我们可以住到这边，开车差不多三十几、四十分钟就到了，就是。比较放松，比较不会有来比赛的感觉。不然之前我们住阿布达比，就是上次你去拍，我相信你有感觉，就是这种
，就是你随时要准备好那种感觉。对，然后没有办法下楼就已经是在车上。对，虽然我们行程都很晚，可是你没有没有没有那种放松的感觉，最少住的地方比较轻松，所以，对吧、啊？之后两天比较轻，就是轻松的可以去准备。那等下就我们就去附近稍微晃一下。是啊。I don't know which yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Light was good. Yeah, it was good. Good have yesterday. Uh, yeah. Okay. How about you? You know, I was here from uh, Friday because we have a test uh, today. So ah, the, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you remember that the Mato Center was for yeah. the test. Yeah. So we stay here. How was and, it? Uh, the test. Yeah. Good. I mean, uh, it was the Puerto Rico guys. Yeah. And. Uh, they just learned the track, uh, not with the car, Okay. Uh, yeah. because they drove uh, Asian Man Series ah, okay. at the beginning of the season with uh, the GT3. Yeah. But it was the first time here in uh, Puerto Rico. Okay. Cool. And uh, it was a um, scheduled uh, session, yeah. not all day, yeah. so they just learned the track and have confidence. Yeah. In it. <laughs> That's good. Good. If you want to drop your things, uh, okay. our daddy. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Really, really long time, really long time. You do him in Torito? Uh, yeah. Hi, mm -hmm. nice to meet you. It's my father. Nice so, to meet you, yeah. Jacob. When did you come here? Uh, now. Oh. I just arrived by car from Milan. So we also had difficult uh, weeks traveling. Why? Uh, because uh, last week I was in uh, Portimao for the LMS sun ah. testing. Then I had to go to Mugello with uh, Leo, but uh, all flights for Italy were cancelled, so I had to land in uh, Nice, yeah. take a rental car, drive seven hours to Mugello, yeah. and then yeah. I have this uh, yeah. French rental yeah. car yeah. <laughs> that I have to leave here, yeah. and then I have to come back home. <laughs> so, logistics is complicated in this period. Like, yeah. okay. Are they do any racing anymore? Are they? Yeah. Ah, I don't know, after Le Mans, uh, I didn't see him again on the car. Ah, it's difficult since the Covid. Yeah, what about Asia? But are you able to fly to Japan? Or there are still restrictions? We could, but the, the cost is too much. Like, okay. you, you cannot rent from China or Malaysia. The car cannot go. Okay. No, no, but I mean, you you have to do like 20 days quarantine still, or no, quarantine no, no, at least no. is over? Yeah, it's over now. Okay. Yeah. But the car is the biggest problem. Okay. This Japanese team, you know, they only want to do with Japanese. Yeah, that I understand, but at least... Uh, at least I mean, it's not that, that, okay, I move and they have to do three weeks on quarantine. Because <laughs> yeah. like that is... You guys used disaster. to do quarantine a lot, right? Um, not really. Not actually, not really. Because uh, in Europe, uh, it was supposed to be quarantines every time you move. Yeah. But then, if you move for work, uh, you can have exemptions. So just go to the so, so we are always on. Okay, we could we couldn't go around like uh, for tourists, but at least to go on track and come back home. Yeah. If we prove that we are coming from racetrack to Italy or the opposite, that we are going to a racetrack. That's good. That's no problem. Yeah, there was yeah. never a problem actually. Yeah, that's good.
赛道是一场赛事不可或缺的环节，它可以帮助赛车手了解赛道最真实的全貌，观察它历史的痕迹，也帮助我们在场上了解如何与它对话。基本上就看一下哪边有有抬脚，不要你，就是说路岩石高低之类的，所以。评估看有什么线可以走，场地哪个部分比较黏，哪个哪个区块比较黏可以用的。所以有些可能不是传统的线，可是它因为胎胶的关系比较黏，所以就会就是用多一点。哎、啊，橘色遐是好甲上外口的时阵，哈、啊、哈、啊。所以到遐的时阵开始要往往内底内底切啦。哎、啊、呀，切到迄个上右边路沿实在在拗过，因为抓油。这个弯其实伫模拟器内底足足不明显的，足，足歹。只要会刺激较易。嗯。空地应该让用错啊。出伤低可能伤快，因为你过来了，你你是上去也无唔对，但是你你也有去变快啊。嗯。所以你变甲遐的时阵，就开始往伊内底拗啊。嗯。所以讲咱等等个只，可能就是。贵啊 ！A P S 出来了，就是来个只啊，啊上橘色安尼。对啊，上橘色了，你就是开始上。啊，上橘色过来就开始拗嘛，对嘛吼。安尼安尼应该较顺啦。我是余光快一点，就是我来上这个啦。嗯。我余光上一点，就是我来看。哦 ，OK。因为你若是你定在就是徐徐方赶快无，那边的。你就含徐方啊，你定了下去那边的。你挖了一边的时机点就很难捉了吼。哪里？你车？这样子，就是你到车，啊，到车平的时候，就出来车平的就过。这块看出来平的吗？看得出来吗？这坐车上很难看得出来的。就是看迄个高，对啊，所以你就是甲遮，因为你扫落若是有高，你无可能规台车轮内底啊。啊，因为你若是人甲遮的时阵，伫遮，你瞄迄个角，你就拄啊好转开头去着。哦哦哦。所以迄边乌的啊，迄边白啊，一边乌的，就是一点啊，出去了，这个高落来。就是出去，唔是讲即个外口就差不多安尼尔啊。这车可能人是伫遮啦，对哦。啊来到遮的时候，伊就人就可能来到遮。对哦。所以伊就是讲上车的啊，啊上车了后，再出来的哦。走赛道很像一场赛事前的开场白。这五点八公里的路程，可以带领我们进入这次的赛事。而在研究路线的过程，仿佛被这条山中赛道拥抱着，似乎在告诉我们，比赛会一切顺利这次赛程其实相当的紧凑，能跟环境熟悉的时间非常少，很快就要开始准备整天的练习、排位赛以及预赛，行程相当的满。而这次是跟我爸一起搭档，当然顺利才是最重要的。毕竟我爸已经三年多没有在比赛了，以他的年纪加上体能，要驾驶 GT 三的长车，多少会有负担。我不求他在场上的速度要多快。只希望他能够在场上稳定的发挥，然后渐渐的进步，那就够了。
Okay. I will I will call you anyway. I don't count the laps. I will t let you know by radio when to box and so on. Okay. Okay. Yes. And I will uh, uh, reply. Yeah. So you tell me, okay, corner one. Yeah. Uh, so corner one, okay. Or if you're, I'm not answering, is that the initial the radio? Then corner two, blah blah blah, and so on. Okay. okay. You you have seen how it is the pitting. Yes. So uh, you take a lap. So when when you are here, it's important really to stay completely on the right, yeah. and then you go you go straight. Be aware that. Most of the time, if you have somebody behind you, yeah. make sure you put the light, the indication ah, yeah. light, because uh, you are on the line yeah. when you are pitting. So it's a bit tricky. Uh, they change it because for years it was not at this place, and now it's uh, since the Formula One is coming here, they put it here. It's not a very nice place. So make sure you completely bear to the right, completely yeah. when you decide to to box. Okay. okay? 第一次练习开始，第一圈我要先帮车队测试无线电，以确保后续在比赛的时候可以顺利沟通。On, it should be green. Engine to drive, remember we do radio check corner by corner. Remember also that you have called the tires, new tires, but called the tires. T12, T12, bear to the right and box, box, box. Well, I just hope to do is always get to each other to the end of the call. Children can sound on hold, you guys are just to lynch. Indonesia 很莽撞的，所以我们也就慢慢的又安心很多，然后再加上他自己脑袋也很清楚啊，自自自己知道说那个要怎么要要怎么做啊，那步骤是怎么样，然后按部就班来，他都很清楚的可以掌握啊，所以现在看起来现在看就不担心了。
是以我爸第一次开 GT 三的长车，再加上他三年没有比赛了，表现已经很不错。看着他渐渐的熟悉赛道，每圈都慢慢的进步，也逐渐跟上了比赛的节奏。我开你的旧胎，第一次那个车子，我一多晒进去，哎、欸，你手嘛还浪，我连刷新。伊的起泡就是专用高的，啊，慢慢放，无你就是怎啊起步安尼起泡啦。其实它移动啊嘛足好个，移动啊就好个啊。哎、欸，我买下之后感觉讲，但是你卡一抬起来，打无迄个，卡拢会卡掉，会卡掉伊个帮啊。嘿啊，我发现我来用帮你打，我打无够啦。我第一轮，因为伊个行程就长个，我打无够啦，对无？我安尼打，哎、欸。还弄不搞你到，又起来了来打哦，都搞啊！你行程计算行程很准的，可以的。第一趟我如果可以开到，因为你那是全油门，迄个出高速弯一几下，只有全油门，迄个就紧就简单啊。你无叫你的直线就就又落座啊，上少嘛半个位。<笑>我前几日我拢，<笑>不会啦，我习惯就好了。刚开始不习惯。那、嗯、你看下第一趟。Uh, I'm gonna start with you, Max. First thing, remember your left foot not on the pedal clutch. You need to put it on the rest, uh, the rest uh, pedal, on the left hand side. Because even if you don't push it while you are driving, you put a little bit of pressure on it, and it's not good for the for the clutch. Yeah. Then down shift is okay. Uh, back on gas is okay. You can carry on a little bit more speed, mm -hmm. and especially you need to prepare better the second part, where you really need to be uh, fast. Yeah. Is the second yeah. corner. Yeah. If you're a little bit too slow in the first corner, it's not a big deal, but it's better to really focus on the second part because then you have a straight line. Yes. Then we arrive at the back back straight chicane. Same thing. You need to brake here. You need to brake later. The minimum speed. Is really really good. It's maybe too good <laughs> because then yeah. you lose again yeah, on the yeah, exit, yeah. and it's a, the same thing at one and two. You can lose a little bit in the first, mm -hmm. but it's important to have a good exit. And here's the same. You yeah. can lose a little bit in eight, yeah. but what is important is the exit on T9. Right. Um, Evan is using one gear less. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we're gonna uh, compare also even with uh, the data from uh, the test we did uh, yeah. last weekend, and I think on this, from what I seen quickly, we can gain a little bit. Okay. So, generally speaking, Max, brake later and harder, and then focus on the exit of uh, of the T9, but it's not too bad, currently. Okay, so here is one of the places where I think you lose most. So. It's a matter of minimum speed. The braking point is okay. The pressure is okay. Okay. What you see is uh, releasing uh, the brakes earlier. Yep. At this point, is really off brakes and is carry on more speed. So okay. it's in so just roll the car yeah, more. Yeah. T8 and T9V is more rolling speed, and also T12 yep. in second, not in first. Okay, so I, I saw him doing T12 going like really really wide. Is it yes. part of the reason that the car is on the steering so he has to go yeah. quite wide? Yeah, and you, you add the same kind of uh, understeer as him, but then you, you pick up oversteer, yeah. mainly due to the fact because you're on first gear, I guess. Ah, okay. Because when, when you are back on throttle, you are okay slower than him when you get okay, back on throttle, but yeah. Your throttle is on off. He's more graduate and it's also easier to do it because he has a one gear higher, so it's smoother going out of the corner. Maybe we can help you with a, with the setup. As you see, his trace, your trace is wider. Yeah. You have more steering angle. It's kind of like yeah. I go the same line in yeah. the car. And then the thing is that all, it affects also the last corner because yeah. here once again. You need not to go completely to the left hand side, otherwise you don't have time to position in the car. And minimum speed in the last corner is okay. okay. But it's a little bit more understeer. Yeah. Before the session, 
I would like you to, uh, you and your father, yeah. to do some uh, driver change practice. Okay. Because we need to, to get ready yeah. to make sure. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you, when, when we do a driver change, when you are in the car, bef the driver that goes out need to put the right hand side belt, the ones up, there's a magnet, so you put it up and it should, and it should stay there. Okay. okay. I will uh, tell you in the car, yep. remember the right hand side belt, but also when you when you do the driver change now, you unbuck, you uh, unfast uh, the belt, belt up and jump out. Okay? okay?练习完之后我们马上就要进行两个单圈测试赛我爸上场后其实圈数都有跑出来但他成绩有做出来的那几圈这时候却发生了最不理想的事情。I guess he's been a T30. 我第一个念头就是完了，因为这个赛道的缓冲区用粗糙的柏油取代砂石堆。所以打滑后会造成车子的轮胎磨损非常的严重，这样我爸就没有办法在剩下的时间再做出比较好的单圈，而进而影响到排位。
，但我还在熟悉车辆跟赛道。紧接着两场预赛，我们将分别从第十三位以及第四位起跑。根本都唔知影我起始炸出去，唔是要讲，但是我会知影没有问题啊，我也是跑同样的路线啊。就是跟你讲，会知影 F 一万无代志的，注意哦，取消。啊。我根本不知道我起始跑出去，因为我练习一直下来，我都是这个位置，我没有人跟我说我过吧。刚刚刚刚弟弟才给我看那个。他们 F I A 照的照片，哦，原来我就差一朵。比赛卖欧巴是吧？比赛比赛我知影，会愈麻烦。比赛我知影。伊比赛卖欧巴，咱个拢够机会，因为其他课拢就慢嘞。对啦，比赛我我知影，比赛我知影，比赛我知道啦。哦，因为我就跟你讲，我两个练习他都没有跟我讲我踢死有问题的，对不对？这是事实啊，所以我一直以为我的梯子是安全的，不是这样，所以我还是照原来的方式在开梯子。Welcome everybody to the 2022 FIA Motorsport Games. Welcome to Paul Ricard. We are one minute away from getting the GT Cup qualifying race one underway. Uh, apologies for uh, joining coverage a little bit later on in the day than planned. It's been a day of technical challenges, but the good news is we are just about to go racing. David Addison and John Watson trackside. It's our first look. Green flag is waved. The cars make their way then off down towards Verrier, the first sequence of corners on this effectively five kilometer long circuit uh, which always delivers action and as John has made the point they are going to be heading into the darkness now of course as you look at the grid there is Paul Ed and completing the grid for Chinese Taipei there is Max Chen there are two GT categories this weekend there is the GT Cup which is this double driver format two qualifying races points scored for where you finish so if you win you get one point ten ten points you can work it out yourself and it's the lowest cumulative scores that determine the grid for the main race and the medals, gold, silver, bronze are on the main race. Now it is time to go racing here to kick off the track activity in earnest for the 2022 FIA Motorsport Games. We were last at Vallelunga and now in the sunshine of the south of France, the cars accelerate their way up towards the timing line. If the race director is happy, he will give the indication that the lights can change and we will go racing. It is going to be Germany versus France on the front row of the grid. We do go racing, they blast away down towards turn one for Germany. Valentin Pierberg has the advantage, it's going to be Germany from France, but for the United Kingdom, Ian Loggin gets up the inside and goes second. That was a brave effort. So Germany, United Kingdom, France, that is the top three, but Pierberg goes out wide. Others scatter their way across the curve on the inside and in strife already is Poland. That, I'm afraid to say, is Marcin Jedlinski and Ian Loggi. Newly crowned British GT champion is all over the back of Germany. Well, bigger British GT champion is accustomed to having low ambient and circuit temperatures, so maybe that's given them the slight benefit over Valentin Pierberg and the German entrant Mercedes, a German nation Mercedes Benz. So, down at the far end of the Paul Ricard circuit, now they come on to the long Mistral straight. This race, our is more difficult. It's from the third row to the third row. So, when I'm on the track, I need to take some tactics to get the best name. Race. Here is not a very good place to pass. Here is better. So if you are fighting with the car, make sure you are good here. Prepare a good exit here to try to attack here. So here is a good place. Here is a good place. Here is not a good place, but most of the time people are making mistakes. So you can go inside. 
uh, and then here and here are two good places to work, especially here. So as I told you, you can stay wide exiting 14, completely wide, go there and do tight corner. But once you are side by side here, once you are inside, you are inside your corner. Okay, so mainly here, here and here. Here potential, potential. okay? Now, I would offer you, John, we are about a lap away from the pit window opening. You probably are right, just got to open after 25 minutes. Get ready. Uh... Mm-hmm. Taipei versus Hong Kong China together as they come across the line and Mark Chi Lee for Hong Kong China in the Honda, the recovering Honda, he's dropped a place against Chinese Taipei but he definitely wants to make it back up, lost it on the pit stops, crawling all over the back of Evan Chen, now Evan is another very very handy racer from Lamborghini Super Trofeo days for example so don't rule him out of being able to hang on to this place. And the Honda looks at the minute the hands of Mark Chi Lee to be capable of running a little bit quicker than the Ferrari directly ahead, but down into this chicane at the far end of the racetrack. Then you line it up, get your braking right, try not to overdrive on the entry into turn five. Careful on the exit not to run track limit abuse, then into turn this long, long turn six. Just keeps going, 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 then you straighten up momentarily, then the cut back through turn seven, back onto the beast rail straight. You're riding with Hong Kong China, you're riding with Marchi Lee then in the Honda NSX Evos. They blast along the Mistra, interrupted for this weekend by the chicane. And of course, the circuit has to accommodate GT cars and single seaters and touring cars. And right under braking, the gap comes down by another length. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 所以很長一段時間都像在排位賽,在極限上盡全力的追進前車。Interestingly, at the back of the field, Hong Kong China still trapped behind Chinese Taipei. Mark Chi Lee hasn't been able to get ahead yet of Evan Chen, who in fact, Chinese Taipei just jumped ahead of Spain. Uh, so the car delayed with its penalty in the pit. Finally,我们以第十一名完赛,但最少全输跟前两名的单圈成绩差不多,也渐渐地知道我自己的实力在哪边,并且该如何进步。
three, three something. But on the pace, you, uh, Schiller, and uh, Bas on, yeah. on the Audi were really close. So uh, I think for tomorrow it's good. Yeah. Especially at a slow corner or even T3, I try to dive in a bit faster, but yeah. the rear just goes. Okay. So I think the front is still a bit lazy, but not to the point that I want to change too much. Yeah. But it's the problem of the rear where, where I carry more speed and then I just. I've got a change. question. Yeah. Here and here which are the two fast corners. Yeah. What is uh, the feeling of it? I think overall it's pretty good. The car is pointing uh, the direction really good enough, yeah. so I don't really run, run wide or anything. Yeah. Probably the front is a bit lazy. Yes. So it's not going in as fast as I want. We can, we can try to do the front step of the front bar. Okay. Just uh, to try to go in the same direction as what we did uh, yeah. yesterday. And uh, I'm hoping that will not disturb too much the rear. Okay. So as I was telling you, uh, the the minimum speed is is weak. Yeah. So once again, the braking is okay. So you arrive a little bit faster than him. Yeah. You brake a little bit earlier, but it doesn't cost anything in terms of time. The first part of the chicane, so which is turn eight, it's okay. Yeah. But you need really to focus on on the mid yeah. corner. Because I think yeah. one issue I had is like. For this one, I brake harder than Vince, yeah. and I even turn more. But when I brake and turn, the car doesn't point. Yeah. I have to wait, so it just gives me like a lot of luck. Like all the way through the lap, my yeah. luck is like way higher. For sure. Than so the the front bar, maybe. Yeah. Qualifying race two for the GT Cup is about to get underway. Two drivers per car, two drivers per nation, therefore, in GT Cup for the FIA Motorsport Games. Mandatory pit stop between 25 and 35 minutes. The pit stop must be 69 seconds, line to line. David Addison, John Watson, trackside in the sunshine here in the south of France. And although the grid isn't a huge one uh, for this race, Evan Chen, very rapid yesterday, he will start the Chinese Taipei. Evan Chen, we've seen him in the Motorsport Games. We've seen him also in Lamborghini Super Trofeo, for example, and the spectacularly coloured Chinese Taipei. And how the grid works for the main race, and it's the main race that gives you the medals, you get a point for the position you finish in. So a win gives you one point, fifth gives you five, and so on and so forth. Add them together, lowest total on pole position, highest total at the back of the grid, but it's the final race today which the medals will be awarded for. GT Cup qualifying, race two, is about to get underway. The cars now make their way down towards the Virage du Pont. Simon Gachet for France on pole position. Germany alongside Poland, Chinese Taipei, Switzerland, Ukraine. Rounding out the top six on the grid. 60 minutes of racing. Lights will change. We go racing now. It is blast off. And France gets the drop on everybody, but only just. But have a look at Poland virtually pushing the Mercedes of France along. Carole Bash desperately looking for a clear bit of room where he might be able to make a move. He goes through on the inside into second place. The Audi absolutely on the tail of the French Mercedes as they dive into turn one. France, Poland, Germany, Switzerland fourth. And here comes Germany back up the inside of Poland. As there, Fabian Schiller sorts out Carole Bash, or does he? I think it's going to be very close going into the chicane as we go on board with the Brazil entry down into the chicane. Sam Neri gets tagged on the left hand side, has to run off racetrack, but force measure now on the outside right turn five, and all right goes Brazil. Body work on the track as well. Yeah, a bit of help. I think that was Lithuania that went past. Jonas Gelzinis for Lithuania may well have been involved in all of that. And so the officials will have a look, no doubt, at their feed of all the incidents. But up front, it is France. Simon Eche leading the way. That's Marcelli in the Honda being monstered, or is he monstering? Almost three wide up towards the Chicane. And the Porsche's got a problem, hasn't it? It's Australia? got a right rear puncture. It ran wide on turn seven, coming onto the straight. I don't know whether that was the cause or effect, but that looks like a right rear has been tagged. And that is a problem for Australia. They have to limp back into the pits, get that tyre changed, and then in effect, even if it's a one-hour race, there's very little chance of being able to claw back. Last time, 
plus the additional having to make a mandatory pit stop uh, between 25 and 35 minutes. So that car limps on, it is Brenton Grove, Grove Jr. at the wheel of the car that's run by Alabama Motorsport, the Australian Porsche there in the Ferrari is Victor Gomez, but it's France ahead of Germany, ahead of Poland, ahead of Chinese Taipei, ahead of uh, then Ukraine, no, tell you a lie, Switzerland has gone ahead of Chinese Taipei, then Ukraine, and Sam Neary having been forced off the road hasn't made the progress really that we were anticipating for the UK. And is now behind the Ukrainian Aston Martin, a car which I think has got good genuine pace and there might be a handful for Sam Neary to find a way around that car because they're both essentially uh, there is the Australia Porsche limping back with that right rear car, they got cut down, I don't know what that was on. And it was a battle here as well, Switzerland versus Chinese Taipei as they go through together with three tenths of a second between them. Evan Chen for Chinese Taipei pulls out, has a look, pulls back in again. Great to see two differing brands here, so evenly matched. The Mercedes versus the Ferrari, very different ways of, if you like, cracking the GT3 nut. Yeah, very much indeed. Mons mid-engine front, one Mons mid-engine rear, a bit of a battle coming as we come down in two, and this is for 12th and 11th position, so that's been a change. So the Audi has taken over that uh, battle, and so that was up into the first and second turns. What about Puerto Rico versus Brazil as well? This now is for ninth place. Victor Gomez ahead of Bruno Baptista, so Baptista penalised after qualifying uh, for an infringement under a red flag, and then having had a spin, so the Brazilian driver trying to fight back. The 2014 Formula 4 South American champion, Porsche champion, he's raced single-seaters in Europe as well, so Bruno Baptista, experienced driver, and I don't think he's going to be long before he gets himself for Brazil, past Puerto Rico. Well, the Ferrari has got good straight down performance. We were saying that battle has taken place for fourth and fifth place with Chen in the uh, number 68. That's the, the Chinese Taipei entry. So Ferrari has got good pace. We know that from other events that we broadcast on here at Paul Ricard. They're a very, very effective car around the Paul Ricard circuit. There is the Ferrari then. Evan Chen turns out of the Bose. So Switzerland versus Chinese Taipei. Now, yesterday, uh, Switzerland was seventh in the first qualifying race, Chinese Taipei 11th, so they're running further up the order right now than they were yesterday. And still, by the way, Australia in the pit, so the damage sustained on that first lap, clearly a bit more serious than just a puncture. Yeah, but one might suggest that the reason for that is because the drivers driving here now are the ones that are the more, let's say, experienced or professional of drivers, so comparing that with the grid that we had for it, Last evening's race, they were the less experienced, so it's ships are sort of... So there over the line go the leaders, nine tenths of a second between them. Carl Bash dropping away a little bit now, isn't he? Because yes. he's lost about a second on that last lap. I just wonder whether he might be being caught by Yannick Mechler for Switzerland. The answer right now is no, but Mechler doing his level best to shake off Chinese Taipei's Evan Chen. Ukraine sixth, even Pecklin still running nicely. Sam Neary for Team United Kingdom is seven. Marching Lee for Hong Kong China is eight. Victor Gomez for Puerto Rico nine. For Bruno Baptista for Brazil is tenth. So we have there the Chinese Taipei Ferrari closing right up. Evan Chen has certainly not settled for fifth place. No, and I think Evan Chen, if he can get clear of the 54 Mercedes, the Swiss entry, he could make progress. But of course, that's the usual story. We know how closely these cars are matched. The balance of performance virtually eliminates any advantage one manufacturer will have over another one. And where is he going to find a place? He's not close enough to think about a move into the chicane. He certainly closed up down at the far end of the racetrack, but that's fairly normal in any events that we ever would see here at Paul Ricard. In the back end of the Ferrari, immediately snaps sideways as he turns right. And look, a battle going on further through the field. That's for fourth place with Switzerland and Chinese Taipei. And further back, you've got Ukraine. And Sam Neary has not been able to make any progress, really, since the lights went out. And Sam Neary's team manager has to go to the stewards immediately. So Sam Neary is being looked at for something. As you see there, the fight going on still for Switzerland. The Chinese Taipei for full place. Yannick Mettler just fending off Evan Chen, who has got the pace to live with the Mercedes, but he just can't quite find a way through. No, and he's had a little step. Oh, couple of plays that runs very wide. I don't know whether that was... A I don't know why he did that, but just simply like a lack of concentration. But nothing that is obvious that would have caused them to run wide. And other than running so close to the car ahead of you, maybe you do want to drop back a bit of air. But here's the battle. I'm just watching the opponent's weaknesses. I'm just trying to find a way to exploit them.
，尽量不发生任何碰撞，才能顺利把车交给我爸，完成剩下的比赛。Once the mechanics move up the lollipop, engine on, yes, and you watch the pit timer. Okay. Okay. Green go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is the final. Fourth and fifth, Switzerland versus Chinese Taipei. Evan Chen is absolutely determined to be ahead by the pit stops. Yeah, and there's slightly closer coming through turn six through seven runs. A little bit wider than necessary, but he's got a bit of a momentum built up. Whether he can do anything again down in... And the, no, no, the Mercedes is going defensive, realizing that Ferrari is closer, forcing the Ferrari to go the long way. Now dive up the inside. A good dummy by the Ferrari. Well done. Well done. Chinese Taipei. Wow. Nice move, nice move. Now focus in front. We need to respect track limit. We get a couple of uh, track limit at T2 and T7. Focus in front and keep pushing. Good job. Chinese Taipei's Evan Chen goes ahead of Switzerland's Yanni Mettler and he's worked hard for that. Like 20 minutes he's been working to try and put that move together. Now we'll see whether Chinese Taipei can get away. Evan Chen accelerates forward up towards senior. So Max, yes. you get ready? Yes. Yeah, especially when you are following the car. It's a shame because once you pass uh, the Mercedes, then the pace was really good. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Pretty good pace. Thanks. That's all, right? It's just uh, the understeer when you're behind cars. Every time I got a good run, got to T6, T7, and the car's like. I think the launch button is not working. Maybe our procedures are off. So when we press the launch, it's not starting. We have to press the start. Just in case. Okay. Max, track limit, turn 10. The Chinese Taipei Ferrari has fallen back a little bit in this second stint. The Ukraine Aston Martin hustling on, and Sokolovsky thinks about making a dive up on the inside, but he's not quite able to do it there. No, that's just a question of that's a typical part of the racetrack. If you put yourself up the inside, then you're wrong footed for the exit of the corner. So here now, get yourself into line, get close to the rear. I was afraid because I saw you going inside yeah. with a lot of decision, yeah. very nice commitment, yes. and you keep the car in the perfect line. I know he always breaks a bit earlier than I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no understeer on that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, the points scored across those two races will be added together to give us a grid for the GT Cup main race, and that will be the race from which the medals come later on in the day. Great action up and down the field in GT Cup, and there'll be more of the same in the main race later today. Oh, 
、啊，我真的留不到一个车，我自己都知道，干你不多啊嘛，对吧？你他妈还是硬硬把我撞下去，哇，是，真正，又怎？啊，车你刚刚有讲二亏无？不，别做二亏啊，但是全油还是比较怎样？我觉得我看不到。你你有几个地方，你 A P S 拢想想到？嗯，就是讲，你个只要搞到 A P S 拢。因为我塞到尾，我发觉哇，干，迄轮胎已经，塞车点，迄个皮炸无皮炸，佫不行啊。今日较少。对，啊，因为我没有提早的结果，就是我拢恶吧。对。我想讲，好啊，你讲。所以你就你就会记得拢拢抢出弯就好。对。你 A P S 只要搞到时间就出来。啊。哇塞！对吧？哎、欸，你早你你不是拢两分十秒、十一秒？对啊。你后边嘛拢两分十秒、零九十秒、十一秒，还没多少，对吧？稳定啊。对啊。啊，你得站姐看姐对他，你当修就修啊，因为时时间还没差不多。Basically, what happened? I think he he get confused and he pressed. It's a, wrong button. it's a pit speed button instead of launch because everything was okay, everything that you did were okay. So pit speed, first gear, you stop, engine off was okay. And then when he wanted to start the engine, you know the two buttons are closed, he pressed the, launch, the pit speed, so he removes the pit speed, then he pressed the launch again and it was not working. So he has to press straight away the launch. You will start on new tires. Okay. Um, same two times. Yes. And uh, be gentle uh, when you do it. Yeah. You do really longitudinal, and you don't wave too much because the tires are new, so it's okay. better to, to keep the potential for the tires. Okay. You can warm up like this. It's okay. If you warm up the brakes, then normally it's warming up everything. So, so what kind of temperature should I aim at when I? Got yeah. to the grid last race, it was around 16. Yeah, it was okay. It was okay like this. I played uh, because the minimum is 140 that we have to have on the grid. But on the grid, I played the ant uh, by 10 points and the rear by 20. So, like this was okay. I was able to, uh, to, do, uh, to do what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. It's an important race for the FIA Motorsport Games that is about to get underway here at Paul Ricard because it is the medal deciding main race for the GT Cup. They've had two one hour qualifying races. Now the medals are at stake. 60 minutes extra ahead of us, mandatory pit stops, two drivers per car, both from the same nation. And this is going to be another fascinating hour. It's been a busy day for the teams because their uh, previous 60 minute race was only a couple or so hours ago. A quick turnaround and they are on the grid ready to go racing once more. David Addison and John Watson trackside. So we've had two qualifying races, Watty. We've seen each driver start, each driver finish a race. Uh, now it's a real shuffle. In some cases they're putting the quick driver in first, others the quick driver in second and we'll see which strategy pans out the best. Chinese Taipei, Evan Chen, and he's going to go first in the car that he shares with Max Chen, the Ferrari of Chinese Taipei lining up on the fifth row of the grid. Everybody start with the gentleman except the France, which is the Gachet starting on the Mercedes. So the Mercedes is on, uh, I think, on the third position. So off first row, second row, and then the Brazil also is the Batista. The silver starting. All the rest, from what I've seen, is uh, the bronze starting. Okay? So try to be aggressive on the start because uh, you have new tires, it's the case from everybody, but I think most of the guys doesn't know how to do this, so I try to benefit from this. Then uh, once you are with the leaders, I'm pushing, and I will call you at the last minute. Okay? Enjoy. So, the uh, formation app is about to get underway. The car is set to be released in a moment then as the uh, green flag is shown. That means that the leading car, as it is, the pace car effectively will blast away. The competition cars will follow, and at the end of the lap, it will peel into the pit lane. They will be released. We will go racing, and now everybody accelerates away from the start line. A chance to get some temperature into the tyres, and a chance for us to have a quick look at the full grid for this uh, GT Cup main race. Remember, this is the first race of the weekend where medals are going to be awarded and uh, it's really really good to see the circuit so busy looking out of our window on the pit straight the grandstand's very busy indeed and they are about to be treated to a really interesting gt cup main race 
Uh, the field then now getting back into the two by two formation, that sort of Noah's Ark style grid order as they come up towards the timing line. And you can anticipate Simon Gachet from second on the grid to build a lead because you've got a pro against the AMs. But if he can get away and really build a gap and let everybody else squabble behind him, then he's going to be potentially in the pound seats late in the race, barring the safety car at any time. So the safety car peels off and the pole position car has gained an advantage already, hasn't it? Because Valentin Pierberg for Germany was about a length in advance there. They come up towards the timing line now. The lights change. We go racing for the GT Cup at the FIA Motorsport Games. And France takes the lead. Germany on the inside line, fending off the United Kingdom for second place. Germany is second. United Kingdom is third. And a good start by Brazil round the outside for fourth place with Puerto Rico fifth. But a great start by France. Yeah, a bit of a scrappy start. The cars were not fully alongside one another prior to coming up to the line itself, but Simon Gachet has stolen the advantage and is already pulling out a gap of maybe a second or so ahead of second place Valentin Pierberg, and the rest of the field follows through. There's the Polish Audi, which was so strong in the qualifying race earlier today, now went back in the, in the depth almost of the field. The Honda of Hong Kong China also uh, busily attacking. The uh, Porsche has lost a bit of time as well, and Australia in the first sector of the lap as the cars come on with the Mistral straight for the first time then speed builds on the run up towards the chicane and uh, Hong Kong under attack from Spain right now Fernando Navarrete on the inside line but it is Gachet for France leading the way Germany second Brazil third United Kingdom fourth Puerto Rico fifth Ukraine sixth and a sideways Audi of Lithuania scrabbles into the chicane seventh as there Spain Fernando Navarrete goes ahead and all it for Hong Kong China well, the front runners are up and running, they're gone. Simon Gachet already stretching by each sector, maybe half a second a sector. So he has got his task, he will just drive away from the rest of the field. Valentin Pierberg, I thought, might have been able to stay closer to the back of the France entry, but not so apparently at this phase. Up the inside, or is it round the outside, and up the inside goes Ukraine on the Puerto Rican entry. It shows, doesn't it, how quickly drivers are learning this circuit, the confidence levels increasing all the time because they're going through uh, is uh, Ivan Pecklin and getting faster and faster more and more confident in the second all the time Fernando Navarrete up from the back of the grid for Spain also looking good at the black Mercedes as here the cars come through the Virage de la Tour for the first time down towards Virage Dupont and round the outside of Poland there dive Chinese Taipei that was brave brave stuff by Chen it didn't work but it was a bold effort yeah it was probably a little bit ambitious to think you could pass at that point on the opening lap and everybody is trying to get themselves sorted out 在国段的追击下 Pierberg moves across, covers the line. Pecklin trying to repel and also trying to attack. It's Brazil behind, and they're all being caught now by Chinese Tampa. And this is great news for France because, again, Pierberg for Germany is just unable to go quickly because he's so busy defending. Well, he never had the pace from the minute the lights went out, but certainly he's in a defensive mode right now to keep the third place Ukraine Aston Martin behind him. And essentially, the pace that the Aston Martin has got and the Brazil Mercedes following. And those two cars, technically, if they've got ahead of the, the German entry, they would pull away from it. But Pierberg is using his car cleanly and fairly, uses his strength and speed where it counts. And, I mean, if you can't get alongside, it's too big a call, too big a risk to try and just throw it down the inside and think you can get away with it. Second, third, fourth, fifth, Germany, Ukraine, Brazil, Chinese Taipei. It shows, doesn't it, the global spread of nations at this year's FIA Motorsport Games. The lead gap there, remember France, well, 12 seconds plus clear now, 12.3 there, just going back onto the Mistral straight is France against Germany, against Ukraine. Up the inside goes Pecklin and goes second, and Brazil tries to buy into this as well. Out wide goes Ukraine, Pecklin is off the road, he's back on again, here comes Brazil up the inside as well, and Germany gets shuffled and shuffled again out of the pack, so Ukraine goes second, what about third, Germany on the inside, Brazil on the outside, Chinese Taipei in the mix as well. Well, it's got two into one will be difficult, but no, Germany losing two positions. Oh. 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 So right now, second, third, fourth, up towards the Mistral chicane, 
Ukraine, from Brazil, from Chinese Taipei. And Brazil's really under threat from Taipei indeed, because as long as he can't find a way past Ukraine, the, the Taipei, Chinese Taipei entry is just closing all the time. And it's always, you're focusing on what you're trying to do. Sometimes you forget there's a car behind you that might catch you wrong and find a slip way through. Now, Peerberg for Germany, fifth, uh, is still junking time. His last lap was a two minutes eight, but he's not really being able to come back at the particularly in the sectors. He's another half a second down in the first sector. He is on the pace, if not quicker, in fact, than others in the second sector, but he's dropping off the back of the train. Yeah, no, they ran wide. Now, watch what's happened. The Ferrari Taipei has gone through, so it's gained a position. Brazil have dropped a position. Not surprising the pace the Chinese Taipei have shown with their Ferrari. Now this sights are set on. Can we catch it? Can we overtake Ukraine and then the Aston Martin? So where has this car come from? Runs slightly wide, Brazil trying to get back get alongside, but on the wrong part of the racetrack. The undercuts available to Brazil, but not in the position to execute. Race leader has gone through that. France, Simon Gachet is on to lap number eight. We're looking at 29 laps in total. That's what's been achieved thus far in the qualifying races. And he's now 16 seconds ahead of Ukraine. So it's France, Ukraine, Chinese, Taipei. And it is 19 seconds between France leading and Germany fifth. The United Kingdom's falling away as well. Ian Loggy sixth is now 22 seconds adrift of the race leader. Seventh is Puerto Rico, eighth is Spain, ninth is Lithuania, 10th is Switzerland, 11th is Australia, 12th is Poland, and 13th is Hong Kong, China. But Chinese Taipei's Evan Chen, he's become another star. He's just got better and better over the weekend. Well, the combination of the Ferrari 488 and the Chen family behind the wheel there is our race leader coming down into the first chicane. That's a 16.2 second advantage. But this is the battle now for second place. And I tell you what, I wouldn't want to bet against Chinese Taipei not getting up into second place. They've been quick all the way through and they're going to dives up the inside, but the, re the Aston has always been picking a straight line, and maybe that's going to be the Achilles of the Ferrari. It may be quicker in an overall lap, Chinese Taipei, but they may not have the speed of the part of the racetrack where they want to see a pass being made. It'll be only a mistake from Pekin that might see the Chinese Taipei Ferrari make its way up into second place. But Germany is becoming almost a distant memory now. Valentin Pierberg, having lost those places, is falling off the back of the train. He has lost a couple of attempts in the first sector, and there, Chinese Taipei ahead of Ukraine. So up into second place now goes Chinese Taipei. Well, the departure of the racetrack where the Ferrari may be stronger were the bits that we've seen that. We're about to see, hopefully, in a replay, that overtake take place. Now Brazil is coming back at Ukraine. Maybe the pace that Ukraine had in the earlier part of the race has begun to ebb away, and that's gone probably down to the balance of grip and uh, maybe the strength that the Aston had with those fresh tyres. Brazil all over the back of Ukraine trying to fight back, but the way the Chinese Taipei has caught past and hopped through the traffic, massively impressive. For me, Evan Chen for Chinese Taipei has been the driver of the race, though, because of the way that he's worked his way up from the fifth row of the grid. He's caught the traffic, he's got through the traffic, and he's pulled away. He has copied box this lap, box, 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 and driver change. Coming in, you go when you see green on the rush, okay? I know we talked about this a little bit in the first qualifying race, but isn't it fantastic to have a, a jumbled entry like this where we're looking at different people from those that we often see in a GT race, like, for example, Bruno Baptista, like Evan Chad, like Ivan Peklin, and seeing how they are as drivers, who the stars are, how improvements are made over the weekend. Yes, Simon Gachet should be leading because he knows this circuit like the back of his hand, you could argue, but the others getting better and better all the time, and people like Peklin and Chen, Absolute standouts here, and perhaps we were ready to ignore them at the start of the weekend. Evan Chen is in to give way to Max Chen for Chinese Taipei. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. It was really for us. Very fun. Good job. Thanks. Uh, 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 uh
we were flying. Yeah. Gashio was faster. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Very good pace. I think I was catching up with Gashio. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I saw the gap is getting closer. For a long time, you get uh, you get the fastest. Uh, you get the fastest status is 3.5, and Sheila did 3.7. Okay. And uh, Gache did 3. Point, uh, yeah, uh, best lap time was. Uh, ah, okay, you can see. So yeah, uh, 3.7. So both did 3.7. Yeah. Sheila and. Uh, and uh, Gache. And you did okay, 4.0 or 3.9? Yeah. For 3.9. Exactly. And uh, your theory call when you put all together is 3.5. So it's not that bad to be honest. And okay, at the beginning. He went away, uh, Gashe, but once you pass everybody, you were the same pace, so it was good. Even sometimes faster. So, it was good. so we are with just over five minutes to go, and a flying lap is uh, two minutes and six for Eric Debar, two minutes and three for that man, Fabian Schiller, for Germany. And drama there, wheel, with a wheel off the car, that's Chinese Taipei, isn't it? Oh! No, 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 Max, I don't think you can rejoin, so... Oh! No, rejoin. Engine off. Engine off. I'm sorry, man. This was for yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's such a desperate move. I know, it's too yeah. You know, this uh, Spanish car also from Spain, also very crazy. Yeah, it's very crazy. It's like moving all over the place. So, you're gonna race Asia Le Mans series or no? I need sponsor. <laughs> we all do. Yeah, we yeah, all do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, have, I hope so. I, I hope to do something. More. But, yeah. yeah. With your father would be great in Asia. He's too old. <laughs> yeah, I've done uh, four years. It's very competitive there. Yeah, yeah now, uh, two seasons ago was okay. I, you know, guys like your dad and me could battle yeah. it out. But last year, and the year of the fake bronze everywhere. And, but he's okay. Yeah. He was having a lot of fun for sure. With yeah. you, my friend. Okay. You did amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.虽然这次的世运会在最后的正赛因为碰撞而退赛但能够代表国家参加赛车世运会并争取到许多的镜头让其他国家看到我们中华队的实力与能耐并且得到其他车手与车队的尊敬是身为赛车手很崇高的荣